Hello everyone, John here, getting ready to work on my next project. Um, this is the Tyrannosaurus skeleton by Bandai. Um, I may have built one other Bandai kit, I think it was uh, Batman Tumblr. Um, so... I'm going to go ahead and unbox this here. It usually has two clear bands. I've opened it before, but I haven't really pulled everything out yet. So, um, I will, this is a Japanese kit. Uh, I'll show you all the stuff it comes with here. Oops, sorry. The instructions. Um, mostly in Japanese. Now, I have a degree in Japanese, but I'm going to be very honest with you. In college, you don't really learn Japanese. You survive Japanese. All right, let's see what this is. So I guess we're doing an unboxing here. Okay. And this appears... Whoops. This appears to be more information about the ty Tyrannosaurus skeleton itself. I'm going to have to read through this uh, as much as I can. My Watashi no Nihongo ga hidoi desu. My Japanese is terrible. So this... Alright. So... The various parts... And there are a bunch of them. This has got a lot of parts. Uh, and it does have a base. I don't see a nameplate. A nameplate would be really nice. Um, I like nameplates. I think they give them that museum look. All right. So I'm going to take a quick look at the instructions again. I don't think that there's a nameplate, which I think is a terrible oversight. Um, I always feel cheated if I don't get a nameplate. Uh, I don't see a nameplate here. So I'm looking at this and thinking, what did I just do to myself? Because there is a lot of parts in this, much more than I anticipated. It also brings up an issue of painting because this is a fossil and like you've got the rib cage and the inside of the rib cage that has to be painted you, you really can't build it and then paint it i am really thinking that i'm going to have to paint it certainly prime it and i think paint the parts while still on the sprues and then assemble it um, because I don't think it's going to I don't think you, you could get inside the rib cage with a brush very easily so I guess I'm going to find out so I have it's sort of a red primer that I got. It's, a, to me, a red primer that I think I'm going to do. And then the the bones or the fossil bones themselves. Because usually when you deal with fossils, what, you, what you've got is the minerals that have replaced the bone. Uh, it's not the actual bone itself in most cases. So in some soils, there's a higher iron content, so they'll look more reddish. 
uh, with the oxidized iron. So I'm going to try, and there are, let's face it, all models, when you do them to a certain degree, are experiments. Now, if you've built the same model two or three times, it becomes less experiment and more refinement. But this is definitely going to be an experiment. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to prime all the pieces while they're on the spot on the sprues or runners um, one day I'll get that right and then I will paint them and then I'll do the assembly um, and this is styrene so I'll probably be using the Tamiya thin set cement um, and we'll just see what happens all right well that's the start here we'll uh, we'll get on it and see what happens so I changed my plan again on my approach to how I'm going to do this Tyrannosaurus skeleton. I've gone back to the idea of priming and painting everything and then assembling. And to that end, this is primed. Now I used this... Uh, This, to me, a primer here, and it's oxide red. So I have not worked with this before. I'm going to see how it does. Uh, I, I like the color. You know, growing up in Texas, there are areas, and I'm sure there are probably other areas around the country too, where the, the mud is red. It's pretty close to this color. So it makes sense that um, this might be a color to use. Also, on a recent trip to the Houston Museum of Natural History, or is it Natural Science? One of those two. Um, my girlfriend and I went and we saw a lot of fossils there they were kind of this color or close to it, or at least had this kind of tinge to it. So I'm going to go back to this plan. I will at some point be doing, I know that I'm going to be using a black brown as a wash and probably an ivory and I'm not sure what else yet. There's probably going to be some browns and oranges mixed in there as well. But, all right, it's primed. So we'll see what happens next. Kind of looking forward to it, although maybe this will work, priming and painting before, or maybe I'll come to regret it. We'll find out. I often say that you never really get to perfection, but you get where to where you can live with it. And that's, although I feel pretty good about this one actually. So here's the completed Tyrannosaurus Rex here. And I really do like the colors that I came with, came out with. Um, I did, you know, I painted this before I assembled it. And I've got some mixed feelings on that. There's a part of me that was glad that I did it this way. There's also part of me where I saw some areas that maybe would have been easier, certainly if I had to do any puttying, um, <coughs> to have not painted it. So we're, I have uh, a couple of other of these. I think I have a Triceratops and a Mosasaurus that I uh, have, that I may do some at some point here. 
and I may do one of those where I hold off on painting it until I'm done. I'm going to have to look at the kits and see which lend themselves. It may also be an issue of some things you assemble and then paint and some things you hold off on painting and some combination thereof. But um, I've, uh, I think I've done a Bandai Batmobile at one point. This wasn't too bad. Um, you know, the having to scrape the paint off to get good plastic to plastic content or contact is important if you paint this before assembly. So, um, there's that. But the way that the colors came out came good. And, and I used various colors and I would take a paper towel and pat it down and then come back with another color and do some washes. I did a variety of things. The instructions um, are reasonably good. Uh, I wish they were bigger. But, you know, you can follow the instructions and get this built. So, um, yeah. It, it, a, a fun build. Glad I did it. It's different from my other models my other dinosaur models because they're not skeletal um so this was kind of a, a fun adventure so <clears throat> one more time i'll show this here this is the bandai uh tyrannosaurus imaginary skeleton i don't know why they say imaginary but they do I would like it if the feet touched the ground. The way that this is displayed, it's up off the ground. Eh, okay. You might see in a museum like that. Uh, anyway, fun build. I don't know what the next one's going to be. We'll have to see. I don't know what I'm doing next. It may be the Aurora Prehistoric Scenes Sabertooth Tiger. We'll see. Anyway, thanks for joining me on this adventure. And there will be more adventures to come. You take care.